Hello everybody and welcome back to Southeast by Midwest. I'm Cassie and today as you can tell we are going to be talking about this Pat McGrath palette. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime little mini palette. If you want to see the colors that are in here, see some little swatchy swatches and have some like just general information about this, then just keep watching. There's nothing to disclose about this or the last several days worth of videos. I got this on my own. Pat McGrath has no idea who I am. However, links in the bottom will be affiliate links. And if you want to leave any comments about the palette, your thoughts, any hate, any love, do it at the blog post linked in the description down below. So let's jump into this palette. Now, Pat McGrath jumped onto the scene a little while ago with those lovely, really big palettes that are like a hundred and something dollars. Out of my budget before, still out of my budget now. Um, however, she did release these little miniature palettes, which are the mini eye ecstasy palettes. You can get these at at least her site in Sephora. You'll have to check the blog post down below for other places that you can get these. Now these retail for $28 on Sephora site and it comes in like the little gold foil packet you tear it away and inside are these little lovely sequins that just makes it a whole experience. I gently pulled the palette out and then dumped them these all in a ziplock so they would not go everywhere. I wanted to keep them because it's a mood. Uh, so, but I, I did not want them going everywhere. So I have put them in a Ziploc. And I would like to mention that I did, I've had this palette for a while and I'm just now getting around to reviewing it. Uh, the philosophy on my blog currently is that I'm not just reviewing new products. I'm also reviewing older products as well because my niece is also, um, you know, going to my site. But on top of that, I've seen people requesting in groups reviews of older products because they still have those products or they've seen them in swap sites and want to know how they are. So I'm going through and also doing ones I've had for a while. So I purchased this before the announcement that she was going to be working with Star Wars last year. And wouldn't you just absolutely love the fact that I put these in a Star Wars Ziploc before that was announced. It's like, it, it's like I knew. No, I'm kidding. So anyway, talking about this palette, this is not in her super gorgeous box packaging with the image printed on it. This is just a clear plastic packaging. It has her logo in gold, like it's on top of it. It's not like embossed in, it's like sitting on top there. And then on the back, we have a little label, which actually has the names of the shadows on it, which I've actually heard a lot of people complain that the bigger palettes don't have. And we have the name of the palette and how much is in it right there at the top. So let's go on ahead and not show you that hand, sneak peek, <laughs> and open this up so that you can see these shadows. Now on the back, they're numbered one, two, three, oops, sneak peek, four, and then that one over there, over there is <laughs> number five. Um, however, I swatched them one, two, three, four, and then that one up in the right hand corner is number five. Um, so the way that these work is that this shade here is sinful, which is supposed to be a gold metallic. Then this shade here is illicit, which is supposed to be like a chocolate matte brown but that's got some gold sparkle in it. And then the shade in the top middle is supposed to be gold nectar, which is supposed to be like a golden bronze metallic. And then the burgundy shade in the bottom is corruption, which is supposed to be a fiery bronze duochrome. And you're gonna see that because see in the pan it looks burgundy. On my hand, it, it, it just, it, it, the burgundy left the show <laughs> okay on the eyes you can see it like it, it's it, it adds some burgundy but uh on the hand it does not 
And then in the upper right on the top row, that is a sextrovert. Sextrovert. Say that three times fast. And that is a bronze metallic. And now I'm going to show you the swatches. And actually, let's zoom out a little. Okay, now I'm going to show you the swatches. And there's the bronze. Okay, so like you can't really see that actually in real life on my hand. It just looks like you ship it one way and it's like just a gold color, right? But it's actually showing up on camera with that red. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, so the thing that's not showing up though, and I hate it, is that that brown with the gold, there it goes, there it goes. Do you see it? The second one down. So anyone else, let's close that before I like put my hand in it. So anyone else, when they do a brown shadow and it's like a matte with a shimmer in it, that shimmer just kind of like fades away and it like just sits like on the mat, like if that makes sense. But with hers, it actually looks like it's the shimmer is living in the mat. It looks alive in my opinion. I love that. So hopefully you found this video fun and informative. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. It really does help. If you want to leave a comment, like uh, what you think of this palette, what you think of the swatches, you want to leave me some hate for not telling you my full thoughts or anything else, click the blog post link in the description box and head on over. And make sure to subscribe before you go. And until next time, bye.